All right, this is the axle. As you can see, it's mushroomed out, so I fixed it by cutting it off with my metal cutoff wheel. And this is where the sprocket used to be. It was held on by hose clamps, so as you can see, it failed. So I TIG welded the keyway, and I used my little Dremel to remove the excess metal and put in a key, and it slides well. This is the inside of the rim. The axle has a keyway in it, and it was removed to free float. And that is the result. Totally stripped out, scored, and see how much play is in there? It's ridiculous. That'll be one bumpy ride. <laughs> so I'm using my Dremel to clean it up because I'm going to be doing a little welding and repair. So used a little carb cleaner, cleaning it up, get the grease out. And the keyway was had some burrs on it, so I needed to remove the burrs so I could fit the keyway in it again. So the keyway now fits, and it's going to be a permanent fixture on this axle, so I tacked it on. So now I add, added some more metal to it to build it up back to the one inch, and it worked out actually pretty well. This is after I got the rim on. I did it on the other side, and after I got everything lined up, I got the rim, just beat it on there, and I just put it back on there, and look at that. It's perfect. Took a long time, but there's the final result after it's all the way TIG welded all around. It's a permanent fixture on the axle, because the axle was toast and the rim was toast, unless I did this. So I'd rather not spend 80 to 100 bucks on it. So that's, just to recap, that's before. And this is after. Not so much a bumpy ride anymore. Woohoo!